Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we've got a problem here about a pizzeria, and there's there are these three customers, Greg and Sarah and Beth, and they want to order pizza. From this menu right here, we want to know how many different ways that can happen. Okay, so this is a combinations problem because the order of the toppings and the order in which you present the way you're describing your pizza it doesn't really matter what size it is. If you say that first or the slices first, that doesn't really matter. The same is true with toppings. If I say pepperoni and broccoli or broccoli and pepperoni, it doesn't matter what order I say that in. So as we go through this, let's see what happens. First, we've got Greg. He wants to buy a large eight-slice pizza with some amount of singular regular toppings on the whole pizza. So some amount of single. Okay, so... Let's keep track of this. We've got Greg first, and for the size, it's the first consideration, then the um, slices, and then the toppings. So these three things we're considering on the pizza. And for Greg, he, he knows he wants a large. So there's only one possibility. Eight slices, it's only one possibility. Some amount of singular regular, single regular toppings. Well, there's 11 of them. Now, for each topping there, you can say yes or no. Yes or no to broccoli or pepperoni. Yes or no to mushrooms. Yes or no to peppers, so on and so forth. That's two choices per topping, yes or no. So that's two choices 11 times. So there's two to the 11th possibilities there. for, And then one type of slice, which is eight slices, and one type of size, which is large. That'll take care of Greg. Now we move on to Sarah. Now for Sarah, she isn't sure what size pizza so how many sizes are there? One, two, three, four, small, medium, large, Sicilian. So for Sarah, there are four sizes we're choosing between. And does she know she she's not sure about the number of slices she wants? So it could be eight or sixteen. And then for she knows she wants to order exactly three of the gourmet single toppings. So exactly three. So how many ways can we order three toppings? Well, that's out of the six gourmet toppings, there are six of them, we're choosing three. And any choice of three, any group of three, order is irrelevant, is equal. So if you say artichoke, eggplant, anchovy, or anchovy, eggplant, artichoke, the order in which you say it doesn't really matter, it's the same order. And that takes care of Sarah. Now we go to Beth. So for Beth, it's a little bit more complicated because uh, she wants to get a medium pizza with 16 slices. So, so far, so good. So for Beth... We've got one size to consider and one type of slice. But the toppings is a little bit more interesting because she isn't sure if she should get the toppings on the whole or half a pizza. Right? When you order a pizza, you could say one on half of it or the whole thing. And she's considering should she get single or double toppings of feta or pesto or both. Now, when students usually encounter this problem, there's a lot of room for interpretation around what that means. So I'm going to solve this problem and interpret it as if you can get a single or double topping on either side. I'm going to consider on one side of the pizza, what do I have? This is nothing. On the other side, I'm going to consider feta. And to keep track, I'm going to consider all the ways I can order a pizza and have nothing on one side. So feta and then double feta. And then pesto and then double pesto. And then... Um, nothing with feta and pesto on the other side. Nothing with double feta and a pesto. Nothing with double pesto and a feta. And then nothing with both double feta and double pesto. Now, I've tried to count this list several times, and I keep making mistakes. So it's important now that I have this template. I have eight possibilities here to use it. Otherwise, personally, I will lose track. Now, what do I mean use a template? I mean that in the first row of this, I'm always going to start with something and then have a feta. Then I'm going to have something else and a double feta. And I'm going to go down this list to get all of those different combinations. So here's what I mean. We start with nothing. Now we start with feta. If you have feta on one side, you can have feta on the other side. Then I just follow this list of things right here to build this out. And in that way, I'm, I'm going to be able to do this a little bit quicker. So here we go for this one. And that's actually eight combinations again. Now we repeat the process. This time we start with pesto. If we start with the pesto, you can have feta on the other side, except now we get our first repetition. 
right? That's the same thing as a feta and pesto here. So our lists are going to now start getting shorter, which is a relief, but I'm gonna write out all the combinations, even if they are repeated, and I'm just gonna cancel out any repetitions as I go along. And then doubles of everything. Now what's nice about this is you can look back. I, I can cross this one out, start with a feta. I already took care of all those. The next one starts with, I'm, I'm seeing a feta, feta on one side. I've taken care of all those. I've taken care of all the ones that start with pesto, double pesto, feta pesto, double feta pesto, double pedo, pe pesto feta, and then the only one left is double on both sides. Now this gives us all of our combinations. One plus two is three, plus three is six, plus four is 10, plus five is 15, plus six is 21, plus uh, seven is 28, plus eight is 36, plus eight again is 44. So this system is pretty good. It gets us 44 combinations, but we wanna add one to it because I did not write down uh, this combination, which is nothing on both sides. I should have added that row into my list of counting to keep track of it, uh, but I thought it would be a little redundant. So here, um, it's 45. So final answer, going up here, Beth can order 45 different possibilities. Greg can order two to the 11th. And Sarah is eight times times six choose three. Now, putting all this together on the calculator, we get, let's see what happens here, 45 times two to the 11th times eight times uh, six choose three, a six factorial over three factorial times three factorial. Uh, the three factorials are both in the denominator there, so be careful. And I'm just doing this on a calculator, not on the screen, I'm sorry. So that's one, uh, one, four, seven, four, five, six, zero, zero, All right? Over 14 and a half million different combinations of pizza. That's quite a lot. All right, well, I hope you helped this. And again, if you have a faster way of counting this, please share it with me. Thank you.